Hello, this is John S. Rhodes of the Rhodes Brothers, and this is Greater Wealth Through Mastery. The topic of today's short talk is how rate cuts might greatly impact the price of Bitcoin. Now, we have five important key ideas to discuss regarding rate cuts and Bitcoin. Assuming that rates are actually cut, that is interest rates, what is likely to happen? Well, when rates are cut, very often there is more money to spend. That is exactly because people tend to borrow more money when rates go down. That's because money is cheaper. Debt is cheaper. Now, that makes a lot of sense. If you're going to buy a vehicle, if you're going to buy a house, when rates are lower, there is more money to be spent on that purchase. The exact same thing applies for credit cards. The exact same thing applies for any kind of debt that you're taking on or someone else is taking on, or really the economy at large is likely to become more liquid, more money sloshing around. And when there's more money sloshing around, that is going to invariably mean that money will go to those places that it is most desired. And one of those places, of course, is Bitcoin because the dollars need to go somewhere. The cash, the money needs to go somewhere. And what better place to put it than Bitcoin. So it's just easier to borrow money and people put money into Bitcoin to save their energy as well. And it's just a beautiful thing for Bitcoin if that transpires. Not the debt, but the fact that money will continue to pour into Bitcoin because there's more money sloshing around. And it's really that simple. As the dollar gets weaker, Bitcoin gets stronger, and that's the second idea. So think about it this way. When more money is printed, every dollar is worth less. Now, there is obviously uh, an indication or amplification in many cases of inflation as a result of rates going down and more money being flooding into the system. But what that ultimately means is that it's more money chasing fewer goods. And of course, what that means is people don't want their money inflated away. So they take their money, their cash, their U.S. dollars in this case, and they put it into something that's going to hold its value as inflation possibly kicks in when rates go lower. And one of those stores of value is Bitcoin. Another thing is with rate cuts, and this is the third idea, is that big investors are more likely to buy Bitcoin. And we need to think about this for a minute. Big companies and large investors look for the best use of their extra and especially their extra marginal money, the additional money that flows into their business. So if there are rate cuts, and the business is pulling in more cash and things are accelerated, especially for that business and more money is in the system, the profits that are coming into companies and the profits and the cash that are available to large institutional buyers, it's going to flow into, again, a store of value. And in this case, we can consider Bitcoin to be that store of value. It's a hard asset, so to speak, if you'd like to know more about how Bitcoin is hard money and is a store of value, please comment below. I'd love to talk about that in a future video. Okay, so again, big investors buy Bitcoin. All right, so I've actually got, those are the three ways that rate cuts could positively impact Bitcoin. Now, I want to cover how rate cuts might actually hurt the price of Bitcoin. Okay, first of all, too much borrowing can cause a crash. In other words, 
when people can borrow money cheaply, they often get overextended. They borrow too much and they cannot make their payments. That is painful, that is bad. And if you cannot make your payments and you're hurting and the economy is hurting, obviously people will, will pull money out of their, their cash reserves and their Bitcoin reserves driving down the price because they become net sellers of Bitcoin. Okay, and this actually happened in 2021 when Bitcoin's price dropped quite quickly in a few different places. Bitcoin might not actually be special anymore. And the idea here is that if rate cuts really help the economy, people might worry less about storing their value. And they'll just think, I can borrow money, I'll borrow cash, and I'll just spend it and use it rather than trying to hold on to it, rather than saying, hey, I'm gonna store this energy in the form of money, in the form of Bitcoin. So it's very, very possible that, that uh, the, the lending, in fact, might go way up, the debt might go way up, but people are using that to buy, and importantly, they might use that to consume, thereby driving down the price of Bitcoin, really accelerating everything that's happening in the economy. Another thing is, is that governments might step in. If there's an emergency, if rate cuts are occurring, then what might be happening, and this is very important, what might be happening is that's a result of federal numbers, government numbers that don't line up with what everyone wants in government. And therefore, government might say, we don't want to allow anyone to be putting money into Bitcoin anymore or they make it onerous, they make it very difficult, in other words, to push money into Bitcoin. In other words, buying might become much more difficult. That is sort of an indicator, right? Like, oh, let's cut, let's cut, let's cut. So in other words, if rate cuts get very aggressive, there might be panic, there might be you know huge concerns, and as a result, we might see Bitcoin taking a hit, we might see further regulations, and we might just see certain problems cropping up as a result of the on and off ramps being choked and therefore Bitcoin being just far less desirable. So these things, when you add them up, could really be the net result of cuts to interest rates. So there are positive factors. And again, we could see more money sloshing around, more money to spend, more money to invest. That's number one positive. Number two positive is as the dollar gets weaker, Bitcoin could very well get stronger. That could be sort of in light of inflation or just too many dollars sloshing around. And as a result, there might be investors who just say, look, I'm tired of my dollars being worth less and less all the time. So I want to protect my value, my life's work and money flows into Bitcoin and that's where it's stored. And the third positive idea is that just big investors see this rate cut or these rate cuts coming up as a green light to go, go, go and pour money into a speculative or what's seen as a speculative asset at this point in time. So moving money from the sidelines into Bitcoin and chasing the trend, chasing momentum. So all these things can happen in a positive way regarding the price of Bitcoin, which we know there's only 21 million. Now on the negative side, again, as a recap, too much borrowing can cause some real problems, can actually cause a, a flash crash, could really harm Bitcoin as a result. Another possible result is that Bitcoin might not be seen as being special anymore. And the idea there is that people are worrying less, like they care less, they have less of a concern about the economy and storing their value instead of putting money into Bitcoin with rate cuts, they're actually going to borrow money and just spend it and consume. So this is sort of the human condition where, hey, there's more, things are going well, so I'm going to borrow, borrow money, uh, and I'm also even going to pull money out of Bitcoin so I can buy something even bigger and better, right? Something even more crazy and wild. And last but not least, in terms of the negative, negative possibilities, governments might just simply jump in. I mean, rate cuts can be a sign of things not going well, not going in Bitcoin's favor. And as a result, we could very well see government, again, choking off the on and off ramps. 
So three ups, three downs. There are many other ups and downs possible as a result of rate cuts. These are just a few to get you thinking. And the key idea here, the essential point I want to make is it's anyone's guess about what really will happen. In time, we will find out whether or not rate cuts are really having an impact. And if they do have an impact, which direction Bitcoin's price is going to go as a result. Again, there's no way of actually knowing. So be cautious, be aware, be ready for the upside, the great, wonderful God green candle, and also be ready for blood in the streets and pull downs and drags of Bitcoin's price as a result of what's going on with businesses and the economy and why rate cuts are being done in the first place. But we just don't know and you should invest accordingly. Okay, a key point here as well is that there are other ways that the Bitcoin network and Bitcoin's price could be impacted in the comments below. We'd love to know what you think the most positive possibility is and what the most negative possibility is. Do let us know. It's very, very important. So what do you think? Let us know. Does this resonate with your experience? And if so, how? Also, please send this video to someone who might gain from it and benefit from it because it's referrals, word of mouth, like coming from you that help the channel grow. So thank you so much for passing this along to those that can benefit from its message. As always, the Rhodes Brothers do appreciate your time and energy here, and we'll see you in the next video, which you should be able to see on this screen. We'll see you in the next training. Thank you and take care.